Hello, hello. It's the one and only. I'm here with 5D Transformations, and we're going to talk about ENFPs versus INFPs. And this is going to be awesome because um, these two types, you know, you can notice a lot of similarities, but there are some differences. So let's start with the similarities. Um, with ENFPs and INFPs, they're both going to be very creative. Uh, they're both going to come off, they're both going to be friendly people because they have that introverted feeling as a second function, which is just a, it's a, it's a heart, it's a, it's a function that comes from the heart. So you'll generally notice a warmth to them. Um, they both, both types are very intuitive. So they're going to have different ideas. They can think out the box. Um, they'll throw kind of different ideas at you that, that you may be like, you know, you might have to think twice about. So they naturally are open to ideas. They are going to be idea types, um, that are going to be warm hearted and things like that. They're super creative types. Um, and when I start explaining the differences, I'll show the difference in the, how they operate creatively. Uh, but they definitely have that element to them. They generally are going to have a little bit of a radical side, meaning they think out the box. They might um, be the types to question why things are the way they are. They may be types to um, deep dive into what if there's more. You know, you'll naturally get those you know, they tap into that side of the brain. You know, they tap into that area of the brain. So they're able to be spokespersons for that part of the brain that other types might not be able to access. And it allows them to see more, a lot of possibilities and things. Um, so that's something that you'll see with these types. Uh, both types are, you know, have a realist side. They both tend to struggle in super corporate, super structured environments. Um, Introverted sensing and extroverted sensing, which are the functions um, that, you know, keep you connected to reality, the sensory aspect of reality. That's their lower function. So, you know, to be, you know, they're very much they don't operate at their best under that kind of pressure to have to be involved with the sensory environment day to day and keep track of documents and keep track of this and keep track of that. They can do it. But that's something that can be a challenge for them. So just keep that in mind, just like it could be a challenge for many types. Um, but, you know, they, they experience those challenges as well. Uh, these types are very much going to be passionate about what they do. They're going to um, be the types that generally are passionate about something. Um, and generally it will be a creative pursuit. They are naturally very creative. It's very rare that you'll find an ENFP or an INFP not involved in something to keep their creativity stimulated. And if not, it's a shame because they have a lot of creativity. Uh, outside of that, they are, they're visionaries. Um, they're people that can kind of see past where everyone else can see when it comes to how things can play out. Um, but, you know, once again, they go about that a little bit differently as well. They're dreamers. They are fun, very playful. Both types are very funny, very, very funny types. Um, they joke around a lot, play around. They see things in kind of funny ways. Not very serious, serious types. You know, those are more your ESTJs, ISTJs, uh, you know, EST, I mean, ISTP, different type of things like that. Th this type is much more playful. You know, why so serious? Um, when you think of ENFPs, there's so many celebrities that come to mind. You got Jim Carrey is kind of like ENFP. Uh, Robin Williams, I know, is an ENFP. Um, then a lot of, there's a lot of revolutionaries that were ENFPs. Uh, but they're very playful types. Will Smith's ENFP. Um, they have that playful, fun kind of energy. Um, deep thinkers, things like that. But they're generally come off soft, like they're not very mean people. Then you have your INFPs. Now, here's the differences. I'm, I'm going to start talking about the differences. And the differences you'll notice, I'll start from a creative level. I'm not going to lie, man. INFPs, when we talk about creativity, they have introverted feeling first. They are at the core of creativity. I truly believe creativity comes out of that introverted feeling place, but then it, all the other functions play a role in how it's displayed, you know, but as a FI dominant, you know, just to give you an idea of some celebrities that are INFPs, you got Bob Marley as an INFP, um, you have uh, Pharrell as an INFP, um, you know, uh, I'm trying to think, it's a lot of INFPs when you think of just super creative types, you know, uh, you know, they're generally going to be your INFPs. So when it comes to, to their art, they generally are going to be very hyper creative because um, they live so close to their art form. 
these are the type of people that are going to just do their art. They're going to be your natural artists. People that just make good music without even trying. Are gonna be, even though they are trying, I'm sure. But it comes off like, why are you so good at this? It's going to be your INFPs. The, you know, whether it's them um, making music, producing, working on art, design, whatever it is, they're going to be very naturally gifted in that area. ENFPs are going to be very skilled as well. But ENFPs, they're, they are very idea driven, meaning so a lot of their creativity as well is going to be balanced out with their ideas um, and coming up with profound ideas. So that might be applied towards counseling for somebody, towards business, if they're an entrepreneur or, a bit, or going after business, towards helping people, towards changing the world, towards policy. All those things can kind of, an ENFP can get into those areas as well, whereas an INFP can be in those areas also. But um, you'll notice they generally are very tied to their art form and they it, it bleeds out of them. It's like they are their art. So that's one big thing with INFPs. Um, also, INFPs are going to be, you know, ENFPs are generally going to be more social than INFPs. Now, INFPs are actually very social and can come off as ENFPs. They can come off as extroverted. But the way you'll tell they're not fully extroverted is that um, ENFPs, they can keep going and going and going, whereas INFPs, at a certain point, they're going to have to recharge. They'll need time to be alone. Um, INFPs are known for being around a lot of people, everything like that, but then you, they'll be kind of like ghost for a period of time. You don't know where they are. They might not be responsive, answering their phone. It's like they need that break. Um, ENFPs are kind of always available, always ready to go, always ready to talk about an idea. You know, and even though ENFPs need time to recharge as well, they're actually one of the, they actually are the most introverted of the extroverts. It, um, them and ESTPs. Uh, are, are the most introverted of the extroverts from my personal experience. But based on the books I've read, ENFPs are considered the most like that. And it's because that FI really needs time to recharge, but their bounce back time is a lot quicker than INFP. Also, as I mentioned, ENFPs, because they have extroverted thinking third, you'll find them more willing to like more into the debate element of life. Like they can, they don't mind debating because, you know, they have NE coming up with a bunch of ideas and then TE providing a bunch of you know, concrete observational facts, you know, objective facts. So they're just taking both and just running it and it's in their feel some type of way about it. So now they're really doing it. Whereas INFPs, their TE is fourth. That thinking is fourth. So they're like, they get more drained from it and they, they'll debate with you, but they aren't going to want to keep debating with you. Just be like, whatever, think what you want to think. You know, it's not worth it. INFPs are also more, a little bit more sensitive to the overall you know, they, because they have FI, they're so connected in a deep element to the big picture of life. They can see the nuances that an ENFP would miss because ENFPs having that extroverted thinking a little bit higher kind of puts them more, they'll be more willing to go into that capitalistic world to succeed or into that political world to get a point across and actually fight for it. Whereas an INFP, they see the big picture like, man, you know, I, I, if I could fight for this, but, but what about this person? Or what about their angle? Or I don't want to stomp on this person's beliefs, you know, and it's not worth it to fight. So they can just see the bigger picture a little bit clearer when it comes to the feeling element, which makes them less apt to keep debating and fighting. Whereas ENFP will see the bigger picture from a the overall bigger picture idealistically and based on the logic which will make them maybe act a little bit more aggressively at times or, but then INFPs can have moments where they snap because they really believe in something. So I would just say that ENFPs are more driven by the the truth of the idea. I would say INFPs are more driven by the truth of the feeling and what, what it means from a feeling element. Um, and, you know, I'd say that's kind of a difference. Well, however you take that, you know, um, also, uh, you know, ENFPs are going to be more so wanting to push themselves forward into the world, um, coming up with structures and really be more driven to achieve in the external world. Whereas I think an INFP is going to be more so not care as much about that because they're extroverted thinking, which is very much about, um, you know, moving to the top of the chain. It's, it's fourth. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, they can do their art and be in their purpose. Now they still have that as a 
as a fourth function that wants to achieve and get to that place. But the ENFP is going to have more horsepower to try to get there generally when it comes to taking the steps and organizing everything. I also noticed that ENFPs tend to be a little bit better organizers because um, they have that TE a little bit higher. So it allows them to kind of structure things a little bit easier. I think INFPs can be a little bit more scattered and it's a little bit harder for them to keep their life cohesively like structured than an ENFP, even though it's kind of hard for both of them to do. But you notice it's a bit harder for an INFP. And then finally, I would just say INFPs tend to be a little bit more, um, you know, they tend to be the types that kind of stay in, 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 the, in their own space. You know, at the INFPs naturally are explorers a little bit more than your INFPs. But at the same time, your INFPs are very magnetic. And as much as ENFPs are very magnetic, I think INFPs have a certain magnetism to them that people really embrace um, and like. I, I could say I, if INFPs will come off more friendlier um, or like more caring than an ENFP. An ENFP sometimes can get caught up in using people as a means to an end a little bit. You know, they both are, don't really do that at all. They're both very genuine types. But an ENFP, if, if between the two, I think an ENFP will, will use somebody as a means to an end, whereas an INFP will really um, just not care to know any of the people except, you know, the few that gravitate to them. So INFPs are generally, you're going to have to gravitate to them to get them in your world. ENFPs, sometimes they'll reach out to you and just hit it off. So that's kind of some of the examples there. Um, and ENFPs generally are going to drive more ideas than an INFP is just in general. The INFP kind of knows when, okay, it's time to like shut it down a bit, whereas the ENFP is going to have ideas going, going, going. You know, that's something they can do. So just keep that in mind. Those are some of the um, differences and uh, similarities between ENFPs and INFPs. Once again, you know, Bob Marley, what else can I say? He's an INFP. That should describe to you the depth to where INFPs are, what they live their art, they live their philosophy, they live their music, it's all one. Um, and then you have your ENFPs, uh, more your performer, um, playful types, your, you know, your Will Smith, Jim Carrey, fun, playful types, but they also are very deep. If you ever listen to either Jim Carrey or Will Smith talk about a deep idea, you know, um, who else, Russell, uh, Russell Brand, I believe, um, is a ENFP. I think that's his name. Russell Brand. Something like that. He's an ENFP. Very playful, um, you know, and, and just funny types. INFPs are going to be very funny as well, very playful, but you'll generally find them in the arts um, more. So with that being said, I appreciate you all listening. Uh, we will talk soon. Make sure to like and subscribe. It's very important. Let's grow the channel. And I appreciate you listening. Peace.